BNP's evil design to make 11th parliament election questionable, human abroad failed totally, comments Subhadul Qadir. Journalists concern on areas of Digital Security Act to be discussed, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood. Government to impose a month-long shutdown on all coaching centers across country during coming SSC and equivalent examinations. Democrats reject President Trump's compromise offer to end U.S. government shutdown lasting over four weeks. And in BPL cricket, Dhaka Dynamites are top points list as Kulna Titans on way to exit. Assalamu alaikum viewers, I'm Tanzila Manar Sultana welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Center. And I'm Shamim Khan. Welcoming you all. Those were the headlines. We now move on to the news and details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked the Home Ministry to work with greater attention to root out drug abuse, terrorism, militancy and corruption from the country as that is the necessity of the time. The Prime Minister said this in an introductory speech while holding a view exchange meeting during her visit to the Home Ministry in Dhaka today. She said corruption has spread in the society as a black disease and this started when military dictators had ruled the country. Sheikh Hasina mentioned that once militancy had got indirect state patronage and she said she does not know why the then governments had patronized militancy in the country. The Prime Minister said the drive against drugs will continue and asked the Home Ministry to intensify it. She also put emphasis on finding out the sources of drugs, their suppliers and carriers. Sheikh Hasina also stressed the importance of giving scope to the drug addicts who wants to return to the mainstream of the society by giving up drugs. She asked the Home Ministry officials to create public awareness against drugs and militancy and that will be the best option to eliminate the menaces from the society. The Prime Minister asked all to stay more alert about corruption as this evil element put hurdles in the way to development of the society. Emphasizing the use of modern technologies to curb crimes and catch criminals, Sheikh Hasina said the world is adapting to newer technologies every day. She asked the officials concerned to find out the main reason why a person gets involved in criminal activities and bring them back to the mainstream of the society through rehabilitation. Terming traffic congestion a big problem, the Prime Minister said. Both drivers and people are responsible for the traffic snarl. She requested people to use footbridges or underpass and obey the traffic rules to avoid accidents on roads. She directed the police to take steps so that people follow traffic rules properly. Among others, Home Minister Zaman Khan and concerned secretaries spoke at the function. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said, nomination trade caused BNP's total failure in the 11th parliament election. The Prime Minister said this as leaders and workers of Tungi Par and Kotali Par Awami League and associate organizations came to meet her at Gonam Bhavan this evening. The Prime Minister said, BNP leaders became sure of the defeat through the pre-election surveys conducted by foreign agencies and for that they tried to make the election questionable. The Prime Minister thanked all for voting Awami League to power again to serve the country. Sheikh Hasina said her government is firm on honoring the mandate people have bestowed on it through the December 30 election. The Prime Minister said people voted Awami League to power for the fourth time as her government has brought huge development to the country. Sheikh Hasina said 
This victory is not Awami League's alone, it is a victory of all countrymen. The Prime Minister urged all all to work unitedly for the country's further progress, making it Shonar Bangla, dreamt by Bongabuntu. The leaders and workers of Tungi Para and Kutali Para Awami League and associate organizations greeted Sheikh Hasina with flowers at the outset of the function for being elected Prime Minister for the third consecutive occasion. Awaminika General Secretary, Road Transport and Bridges Minister Ubadul Qadir has said BNP leaders took different ill approaches at home and abroad to make the 11th National Parliamentary election questionable. But their moves went in vain. He said this to journalists after a view exchange meeting with officials of Bridges Division and Bridges Authority at Shetu Bhabun in Dhaka today. Ubadul Qadir said the BNP Secretary General himself is suffering from political illness who is controversial in his own area. The woman General Secretary said there is no need of any national dialogue. The 11th general election was held in a neutral manner and as such Mirza Fakrul Islam won the election, he added. Regarding mega projects, he said about 63% construction works of the Podda Bridge has been completed and the rest is going on in full swing. Among other Secretary of Bridge Division, Khondukar Anwar Islam and Podda Bridge Project Director Shafiqul Islam attended the meeting. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said the matters of concern in the digital security law is raised by the journalist will be reviewed. He told this at the, at the meeting of press program at Dhaka Reporters Unity in the capital today. President of Dhaka Reporters Unity, Elias Hussain, and General Secretary Kabir Ahmed Khan were present. The Information Minister said suitable steps will be taken to make the programs of the mass media spectacular and time defeating. He said full fledged centers of Bangladesh television at six divisional cities will soon be launched. The Information Minister said a new committee would be formed for the implementation of the new wage board at the Sunest. Regarding the cause of the failure of BNP in the 11th national election, Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said there was no trust and unity within the party and they identified themselves opponent to the people of the country over the past 10 years. Visiting UN Special Reporter on the situation of human rights in Myanmar, Yang Li Li said, that her office would collaborate and work together with Bangladesh Foreign Minister Office to address the Rohingya crisis. She made the remark after holding a meeting with Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Mumin at the Foreign Ministry in the capital today. Lee will visit Rohingya camps in Cox's Bazaar tomorrow to see for herself the Rohingya situation. The government has decided to shut down all coaching centers during the SSC and equivalent examinations. The coaching centers will remain closed for a month from January 27 to February 27. Education Minister Dr. Deepu Muni informed this at a press briefing 
at the Secretariat today after a meeting of National Monitoring Committee on the upcoming SSC and equivalent examinations. Yeah. Deputy Minister for Education Mohibul Hassan Chaudhuri, Secondary and Higher Education Division Secretary Mohammad Sohrab Hussain, senior officials of the Ministry and representatives of different organizations concerned, among others, attended the meeting. Dr. Deepu Muni said the government has strengthened its effort for checking question paper leakage during the upcoming secondary school certificate and equivalent examinations set to begin from February 2. She said that stern actions will be taken against those found involved in any irregularities including leaking question papers during the exam, seeking corruption, seeking cooperation from all to check question paper leakage, the minister urged the guardians and examinees not to hunt for collecting leaked question paper. Now some international news. U.S. President Donald Trump has set out new plans on his Mexican wall project to try to end a partial government shutdown lasting for four weeks. One of his compromise was on the so-called dreams who entered the U.S. illegally when young. He still wants 5.7 billion U.S. dollars to fund the wall. But Democrats have refused to fund it and ahead of the speech has already rejected the expected concessions. The shutdown, the longest in history, has affected 8 lakh federal workers. The Arab Economic and Social Development Summit has kicked off in Lebanon's capital, overshadowed by political drifts and poor attendance among Arab heads of state. Many of whom pulled out at the last minute. The 20 countries taking part in the summit on Sunday aim to make a joint statement on a 29-item agenda that ranges from discussions on an Arab free trade zone and the economic effect of Syrian refugees on host countries. The summit takes place amid increasing political and economic instability in Lebanon, which hosts hundreds of thousands of Syrian and Palestinian refugees. At least 52 Al-Shabaab militants have been killed by U.S. military attack in response to an attack earlier in the day that left at least eight Somali soldiers dead. The attack occurred near Jalib. Middle Juma region. There was no immediate comment from Al Shabaab on the death toll. Commerce Minister Tipu Mun She has urged the private organizations to come forward with the new products to boost.
boost up employment and enrich the national economy. He was addressing at the closing ceremony a four-day-long international plastic fair in the capital today. The Commerce Minister said the present government is a business-friendly government and committed to extend all cooperation to flourish the trade and commerce. Later, the Commerce Minister distributed prizes among the best organizations. Foreign Minister Dr. A. K. Abdul Mumin urged Singapore government to continue its cooperation in resolving the Rohingya crisis. He made the urge when Consul of Singapore in Bangladesh, William Chick, made his introductory call on with Foreign Minister this morning. With reference to the Rohingya crisis, the Foreign Minister thanked Singapore for standing beside Bangladesh with humanitarian assistance. The Consul of Singapore said his government stands ready to further strengthen relationship with the new government of Bangladesh under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Later, Japanese ambassador to Bangladesh, Hiroasu Izumi, paid a courtesy call on Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Mumin at his office in Dhaka today. During the meeting, they discussed different bilateral issues on mutual interest. They hoped the existing relations between the two countries would be strengthened in the days to come. China will provide grant assistance of more than 600 crore taka to Bangladesh under an agreement on economic and technical cooperation between Bangladesh and China. The Economic Relations Division Secretary Monwar Ahmed and Chinese Ambassador to Bangladesh Zhang Ru signed the agreement on behalf of the respective sides in the capital today. The grant shall be utilized for the welfare projects such as disaster management, bridge construction and so on. Detailed matters will be stipulated in separate agreements to be signed between the two sides. Rapid Action Battalion Rab arrested and accused of the case filed over Gulshan Huli artisan bakery attack from Ghazipur. The rest is identified as Muhammad Mamunur Rashid Elias Ripon Elias Rezaul Karim Elias Reza, a Surah member of Band Bulletin Outfit, Jamaatul Mujahid in Bangladesh, JMB, Director of Media Wing of Rap Mufti Mahmoud said in a briefing that acting on a tip off, a team of the elite force conducted a drive in border board bazaar area and arrested Mamunur Rashid. Mamunur Rashid was also supplier of money and the arms to the cap attackers. Now news on Sports. Bangladesh Premier League BPL Cricket's third phase will start at Meetpur Sheribangla National Stadium tomorrow. Kumela Victorians will face 
against Russia he came at 1.30 p.m. in tomorrow's first match. In the second match of the day, Chittagong Vikings will take on Dhaka Dynamites at 6.30 p.m. At the end of Dhaka and Silip phase, Dhaka Dynamites claimed the first position of the point table with 10 points and 5 wins from 6 matches. Chittagong Vikings are in the second position with 8 points and 4 victories from the 5 matches. Kumilla Victorians claim third position with 8 points and 4 victories from the 6 matches. Rongpu Riders are in the 4th place of the table with Three wins from seven matches. Russia Kings are in the fifth position, while Silit Sixers in the sixth and Kulna Titans in the seventh position of the point table. National School and College Taekwondo Competition 2019 has begun in the National Sports Council in Dhaka. State Minister for Cultural Affairs K. M. Khalid inaugurated the competition today. Among others, President of Bangladesh Taekwondo Federation Ghazi Murshid Hussain Kamal and General Secretary Mahmudul Islam Rana were present on the occasion. 500 male and female players in 28 categories will take part in the competition. And now to end the bulletin, a recap of the top stories. Government firm against corruption as vice must be uprooted for the country's forward march, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Visiting Home Ministry. BNP's evil design to make the 11th parliament election question at home and abroad fail totally, comments Ubaidul Kader. <music> Journalists concern on areas of Digital Security Act to be discussed, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Government to impose month-long shutdown on all coaching centers across the country during the coming SSC and equivalent exams. Democrats reject President Trump's compromise offer to end U.S. government shutdown lasting over four weeks. And in BPL cricket, Dhaka Dynamite's top points list as Kulna Titans on way to exit. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. And we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. Until then, Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz.